Hi everybody, this is Matthew from Disaster Area Designs. I'd like to go over the configuration and setup of the new DMC 3XL, DMC 4 Gen 2 version 2.0 firmware. This is our shop test unit. It's a DMC 3XL Gen 2. Um, after you update the firmware in your unit, the first thing that you should do is factory reset it. The factory reset is performed by powering the unit on, holding the left button and the mode button. On the 3XL, that's the center button. On the DMC4, it's the upper right button. After the factory reset's performed, you'll see eights flash on the display, and then the unit will be ready to use. The factory default configuration is for uh, single device control. Uh, it's configured to control the timeline. It has all three looper modes enabled uh, and a scrolling mode. So uh, out of the box, it'll control your timeline exactly the way that you expect. Uh, preset up and down. Engage and bypass, looper control, looper reverse, looper in half speed, looper volume level up and down, and so that's it. Um, if you'd like to enable more advanced controls, for example, if you have more MIDI devices or you'd like to configure the expression pedal or anything like that, all you need to do is power the unit on while holding the mode button. Again, on the 3XL, that's the center button. And on the DMC4, it's the upper right button. When you power it on holding the mode button, you should see disaster area, followed by the firmware version, followed by setup. So when you're in the setup mode, it's a little different than you might be used to. So let's go over what all the setup modes are and the options. Um, the left button selects the setup menu, and the right button changes the menu option. The first menu is the E menu. That's expression. The second menu is the L menu for looper control. The third menu is the P menu for preset configuration. The fourth menu is the S menu for scrolling options. The fifth, sixth, and seventh menus are the A, B, and C menus. That's for device selection. You've got a four menu for configuring the fourth button on the DMC4. This doesn't have one, obviously, so we'd set it to tap to disable it. And then the final menu is the looper play and stop uh, menu. So most of these menus uh, should be familiar to existing users of the DMC 3XL and DMC 4, uh, but for you folks who are new uh, or to go over some of the more advanced configurations, let's cover everything. E menu for expression. Um, the expression refers to this quarter inch jack on the back of the controller. If you have a roller installed, the right roller or the left roller, these are tied together. So anything you do for this also affects what's going on with the roller. Um, expression sends expression via MIDI to all connected devices. Looper sends looper level volume to the configured looper control device. Um, this pedal can control either the timeline or the Line 6 M9 as the looper. Tap Connecting a momentary tap footswitch like our DMT1 or any momentary tap footswitch will let you send tap to all connected MIDI devices. Performance and latching performance. These are essentially the same. They send a MIDI command to a connected device like a Big Sky for freeze or an H9 for the performance switch. The difference is that PRF only sends the command when the switch is held and LTC sends it every time the switch is tapped. So uh, the performance is like the sustain pedal on a piano, and the LTC is like a guitar pedal. It's click on and click off. Fave is uh, a favorite preset. Connecting a momentary uh, tap switch to the back panel input will let you save and store a preset for later recall. SPL is split expression. This lets you send expression to all devices at the same time, except in the A, B, and C scrolling modes. In the A, B, and C scrolling modes, you'll only be sending expression to the selected device. And finally, MID. This lets you use the expression pedal input as a MIDI out. Um, this works with uh, a cable that we sell. Uh, if you're using a Chase Bliss or an Empress device like the uh, Warped Vinyl, Womb Tone, or the Empress Tremolo 2 or Phaser, you can use a TRS cable for this. Um, see the manual for details on which cable that you need uh, or send us an email and we can help you with that. The L modes. L3 is all looper modes enabled. L off is no looper modes enabled. 
L1 enables record, overdub, stop, play. L2 enables half speed and reverse. L3 enables the third looper mode, which is looper volume up and down. This is the default. This is full looper control. If you're not much of a looper person, you can turn any of these off. P off. This uh, is the preset mode, and we're going to cover this in a separate video. Um, you're allowed to have 0, 4, 8, or 12 presets. Uh, so you can enable those or disable them as you see fit. The S mode controls which scrolling modes are available. You've got SA, SB, SC, or any combination thereof, including no scrolling modes. Uh, the scrolling modes correspond to A is MIDI channel 1, B is MIDI channel 2, C is MIDI channel 3, except in the case of the Chase Bliss devices, in which case these are set up B for word final and C for womb tone. Um, we'll have another video showing um, more about the scrolling options. The A, B, and C modes configure which devices are which. This lets you tell the pedal which devices are in which order so that the logical order of the devices makes sense to you, the player. Um, by default, in the past, our setup has been Timeline on channel 1, Mobius on channel 2, Big Sky on channel 3, and that's still available. But if you put your Mobius first, which is very common, you may wish to have it be the A device. So you can change these devices, A, B, and C, to match the actual order of the pedals you have on your board. So you can change these from Timeline, Mobius, Big Sky, H9, which also works with the Eventide Factor Series, Time Factor, Mod Factor, Pitch Factor, and Space. L5, this is the Line 6 M5. L9, which is the Line 6 M9. CB, Chase Bliss Devices, Warped Vinyl and Womb Tone. HO, Electro Harmonics Hog. And finally, a new one for us, which is GM, General MIDI. The General MIDI device sends MIDI program changes 0 to 127 and allows us to support things that we don't have specific code for. This works with almost any device. Um, the old damage control products, um, it works with the Nova Drive, the Whammy, um, basically anything that supports MIDI program changes. Um, we'll go over specifics about general MIDI control in another video. Uh, so once you've selected the devices and the correct order, um, you can set up the fourth button, which has mostly the same options as the expression pedal input. Tap, performance feature, uh, latching, tune for the H9, favorite, um, and then the final menu mode is uh, the looper play mode. So in L play, um, pressing the play button in looper mode restarts the loop. You have to hold it to stop the loop. Um, when you're in this mode, the best way to loop is uh, using only the record button. So record, overdub, stop overdubbing, overdub some more. Um, if you're used to using record and then play to set the loop length, then you'll probably want to set this to stop. Um, this will elim eliminate any looper seam. Um, these buttons operate mostly on the down press, um, so the timing is pretty consistent. But in this mode, pressing the play button while the loop is playing will stop it. It's the old DL4 behavior. Once you've got all the configuration modes set up the way you want, press and hold the center button to save. The display will flash save, and you'll be ready to use the pedal. Um, we'll have the DMC 3XL Gen 2 and DMC 4 Gen 2 firmware available for a free download on our website later this week. If you've got any questions or comments about this, please leave them below. Thanks.